Why did you? What's up? Make this. Uh, last week. No, I meant like the channel. Like 643. Oh, like five years ago. Mm. Okay, Matt says that he can hear us, so that's good. Good job, buddy. Justin is here, Matt is here. Hey Justin, hey Matt. Hudson's ready to go. Yep. Robin is here. Welcome here, Robin. Well, hey, Robin. You kind of sound like the Robin on Teen Titans. <laughs> or like the bird. Okay. Matt's got sound and video. Jack is here. Hey, Jackie. There's Hudson ready to distribute some packs for series one. Hello. Hello, peoples. So put it on these ones? Yep. Yeah. Oh. So like all of these lines? Yep. Yeah. Including this one? No. Just the lines going horizontal. Like up? Up or down? Side to side. I'll help you out once we get going. Okay. Alright. Let's start opening these things. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 643 Pack Wars Tournament number 2. We've got a box of Series 1, a box of Series 2 from 1718. The winner of this tournament is going to get to pick between these five boxes. They get their own personal hobby box. The way that this is going to work is we are going to spread out all of these boxes on those tournament brackets. And then we've got a Pack Wars Tournament. The way that it works is we've got... Our hierarchy of hits here. In this tournament, Young Guns are the king. If you get a Young Guns card, you've got a good chance of winning that round. Uh, Young Guns Exclusives is the top card, followed by Clear Cut, followed by a Program of Excellence, then Canvas Young Gun, then a regular Young Guns. If you get any of those cards, move on to the next round. If we get two Young Guns cards against each other, whichever one is lowest, like the number on the back is lowest, is going to move on to the next round, although a Canvas would beat a regular and so on. We've added one thing for this week. Any memorabilia, autograph, or numbered cards are going to beat any other hits. So that is just a way to uh, try and clear up any of the, the big hits be being beaten by a regular, regular card. If we have two regular hits against each other that does not fall into this category, the winner of the round will be decided by the lowest numbered base card. That should answer any questions. All the information was on your listing. It was also on the form. So, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, we got it wrong. Um, everything else should be good to go. The first thing we need to do is random the satellite spots. So these were all the satellite spots that were won over the last couple of weeks. Last week, I guess. Um, if you... If you get in the top four here after three randomizations, you get yourself an automatic free spot into this tournament. Good luck, you guys. So we're going to randomize it three times, and the top four. Good luck, so, everybody. There's random number one. There's random number two. And the top four win themselves a spot in the tournament are... All Four Kinds, DJ Bass, Bummer Boy, and All Four Kinds. Congratulations, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and mark your names on the uh, satellite spots. So All Four Kinds, first of all. Congratulations, Chuck. You get one of the spots. Uh, next up was DJ Bass. Congratulations, Daniel. You get the second spot. Bummer Boy gets the third spot. And All Four Kinds gets spot number four. 
Alright, so that makes up our wild card bracket to try and earn their way into the tournament. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up these boxes. Hudson's going to distribute the Series 1 packs on this side. I'm going to distribute the um, series, series 2, yeah, series on two the packs on the other side. So here we go. Good luck, everybody. Yay! Chuck, Good luck. Chuck got the uh, satellite spots via the Buy It Now, so he has an extra satellite in this break as well as one in the Tournament of Champions. So Hudson, you can start distributing these. So just put them on anywhere, that side. On, anywhere on the black. On like, the lines, like, yep. Like um, the ones going down and down. That's right, yep. I'll distribute them on this side, and then we'll randomize your guys' names. Okay, so... So just like this, follow me. Okay, I'm just taking out all my packs. Okay. So, so all I do is this. Yep, yeah, just be careful with them. Good job, buddy. Then, so now I put them. Here, give me a like stack. You can do those there. This so one like goes this? there, like, like that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then one more there, and then there should be three extra. Yep. Okay, so this is how the three extra packs work. We're going to take one of them. Well, first of all, some of them will go over here. So we'll have series two against series two, series one against series one. And then what we had last week was this, and we had ran into a problem with the finals, and I figured out a way to solve that problem. We're going to trade the Series 2 pack from there with the Series 1 pack from there, and then that means that the final will be Series 1 against Series 1, and this final will be Series 2 against Series 2. So it all works out a lot better this week. Alright, you guys. Um, now that we've done that, we've got our champ here, Lennox Matt, Lennox. waiting to be dethroned unless he can uh, defend his championship. All of your names are on these cards here, so I'm going to shuffle these around, and then we're going to place these names on top of the packs. Can I place them? Yeah, I'll give you half, and you need to put the names on Any those of over these here. cards? No, just on this row. Okay. Oh, just on this? Yeah. So I'm going to give half to... Hudson, just hold on to them for now, okay? okay? Don't do anything yet. So Hudson's got half. I've got half. So the first one on my pile here, we've got four Jensen. So four Jensen is going to be the first one on the first slot. He's going up against Netrider, followed by Bummer Boy, followed by All Four Kinds. Yeah. And all four kinds again. Okay, now we've got the Killer Bees. The Killer Bees is Bill Brady, or sorry, Bill Brody and Blake. That is B. Martin. Got all four kinds once again. Okay, then we've got the Champ, Lennox Matt. Then Aries, 1295. Then all four kinds. Then Saxy. And we're going to need one more, Hudson. Oh, the next one on the pile was Saxy against himself, so he's already punched his ticket to the next round. Okay, Hudson, read off the name and then put them on the top. Socrates against Flyer Honey. All for Kinds against Justin A. Bruins 37 against Bummer Boy. Wings 84 against Socrates. Um, Subterfuge? Against Bummer Boy. That is Mike. All four kinds against... Against the winner of the wild card. Okay, so there it is, you guys. Hudson, you can have your seat in the producer's chair over there. Thanks for your help. Okay, okay so let's move these wild card slots on top of the packs. All four kinds against DJ Bass. Bummer Boy. Against all four kinds. So there is the tournament, you guys.
Good luck everyone, let's get this started. Okay, so we're starting on the wild card bracket. Hudson, you're gonna need to go on the chair, okay? Because I'm gonna need to move around this side. All right, so starting on the wild card packet, all four kinds against DJ Base. Good luck, you guys. Young Guns are king. Other than numbered cards, hit uh, jerseys and autographs. This is all four kinds packs. He's got a Anders Bjork marquee rookie for the Boston Bruins. Daniel. Daniel has got a Portraits of Giovanni Fiore rookie card. So we're going to have to go to the base cards. Lowest number moves on. We've got a 365, a 289. 289 is lowest. 252. So that's 252 for DJ Base. Chuck has to beat a 252. He's got a 261. And that's as, high, as low as it goes. So. DJ Base, congratulations. You've won those two hits and you moved on to the next round. Next up we have Bummer Boy against all four kinds. Bummer Boy, you've got yourself uh, Eric Carlson, Centennial Seasons, Centennial Standouts. All four kinds looking for a young gun to move on to the next round. He's got a young guns and it's a good one. I believe the third overall pick, Pierre Luc Dubois. It's a nice rookie there. Congratulations, Chuck. You get the two hits and you move on to the next round. DJ Base against all four kinds, the rematch. We'll start off with DJ Base on top. I should mention, as soon as you win one of the rounds, you automatically lock in those hits, so those hits will be shipped to you. Okay, DJ Base has an Eric Comrie Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets. Congratulations, DJ Base. You have the first Jets hit. That means that you have the Winnipeg Jets Bounty. DJ Base, the Winnipeg Jets Bounty. You've won yourself a free spot in a box of 1617 Upper Deck Black. I was just about to say that. Spot number 29. Congratulations, buddy. So All Four Kinds is looking for a Young Guns to match. Otherwise, DJ Base is moving into the regular bracket. He does have a Young Guns. Robbie Russo for the Detroit Red Wings. These guys are starting to get lucky. Yes, so we're going to have to go ahead and check the numbers. 473 for Detroit. And against... Eric Comrie trying to beat that. It is 476. So close. 473 moves on. So Russo and Comrie for all four kinds. Moving to the next round and in the tournament. Congratulations, Chuck. You have the satellite spot. And into the tournament. Can I... Um, right there facing all four kinds. Okay. Yay! We're, we're going to move on to the Series 2 side, starting with four Jensen against Netrider. Everyone good still in the video? Here we go, guys. So who's against who? So we got four Jensen against Netrider to see who moves on. Can I open one? No. Sorry. Okay. okay. First up for four Jensen. You've got a upper deck canvas of Christian Dvorak. So is canvas the best? No, we're looking for young guns. Next up we have Net Rider Renault. Got the very last spot today. He's got an Owen Tippett upper deck portraits card. So we're gonna go by numbers. The numbers. Okay, so 442, we got a 300. Just keep that there, Huds. You can't touch them, okay? 300. Lowest is 281. Travis Hamanuk for Netrider. For Jensen, looking for lower than a 281. We've got a 258. So for Jensen, you're moving on to the next round. You've got the Owen Tippett and the Christian Dvorak. And for Jensen, congratulations, buddy. On to the next, we've got Bummer, Bummer Boy against all, all four kinds. kinds. So first, we got a pack for Bummer Boy. And then soon, somebody will be against themselves. 
Ooh, look at this. We got a... Ooh, wow. Jack, you've got a fluorescent. Nolan Patrick. Numbered out of 150. So unless we get a Young Guns in all four kinds pack, that is going to be an automatic winner. Nolan Patrick fluorescence numbers out of 150. Could be beaten by a Young Guns. Remember, it's a Young Guns King tournament. And Chuck has a marquee rookie of Pierre-Luc Dubois. That means a bummer boy. Congratulations. You've got the Patrick. You've got the Pierre-Luc Dubois. And you're moving on to the next round. All right. Where's our base pile here? Right there. Okay. Next up, we've got all four kinds against the Killer Bees. Killer Bees, previously Dad, undefeated. can you pass me the packs and the sure. random cards? Like the, the base cards? Yes. Sure. All four kinds. You've got, ooh, nice, an Ian Cole Day with the Cup card. Ian Cole, not numbered, so that'll count as a regular hit. Now the Killer Bees. Killer Bees looking to snatch that Day with the Cup card with the Young Guns. They can't. It is a Callie Rosen Upper Deck Portraits. So we're going to go to the numbers. 298. Lowest card is 298 for the Killer Bees. And for all four kinds trying to defend the day with the cup, he's got a 263. So 263 for all four kinds. He gets the day with the cup. He gets the Cali Rosen. And he's on to the next round. Congratulations, Chuck. Next up, we've got all four guys against the defending champion, Lennox Matt. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 indeed. All four kinds is first. I hope oh, that. looks like he's got a Young Guns. It is a Peter Kellerick. Young Guns for the Boston Bruins. Matt, the defending champ, is going to have to answer with the Young Guns. Let's see if or he can do maybe, it. Or maybe try to win it. Yep. Matt has a marquee rookie of Christian Yaros. Mm. So Matt, unfortunately, his streak of Pack Wars tournaments ends at one. Well, at, well, at least he's still in the finals. <laughs> that was from last time. Um. All right, so I do also want to mention at this time that we have a new bonus this week. If you fail to move it past the first round, you automatically get a chance to earn your way into next week's Pack War tournament. So fear not if you lose on the first round, you get a satellite spot to try and earn yourself into that uh, wild card bracket over on the other side there. All right, Aries, one, two, nine, five. Good to see you in the break. This pack is for you. Aries has a Dylan Ferguson, Las Vegas Golden Knights marquee rookie. All four kinds is against Aries. Looking for a young guns here to move to the next round. That's right, that's Hudson's favorite team. I thought they would they haven't made those cards yet. Yeah, these are the newest set though. So Marcus Kruger, upper deck canvas for all four kinds. So we're going to the numbers. Numbers. In this one we got a three thirteen is the lowest. So that is definitely beatable. Aries looking to beat a three thirteen, looking for anything in the twos. He's got a 285, so congratulations, Aries. Yay. You're on to the next round. You get the canvas and the marquee rookie. Yay. Hudson with his Golden Knights jersey over here, cheering on the Knights hits. Yay. And now we're going to see who what Saxy gets in his packs here. So he's automatically moving on to the next round. But we'll see if he can what he can get. And don't forget, the first person to get a jersey card... Um, automatically gets a bounty bonus, a satellite into the next box break, and a tournament of champions. Alright, so we've got a Colin White Young Guns for Saxy for the Ottawa Senators. Congratulations. And Saxy pack number two. He's got another Young Guns, Anton Lindholm. Congratulations, buddy. Pretty two, sweet. Two Young Guns hits, and on to the next round. Pretty sweet for two Young Guns. I guess you also get a satellite spot because of your second card there. All right, we're moving on to the next side of the bracket, you guys. I'm a little scared. 
to that side. Uh, you're going to have to stay. So you'll just pass them on to Sure, me. I can pass you the base cards. All and, right. And the... And the yeah, packs. the packs. First of all, we've got Soccer Taz against Flyer Honey. Jeremy is up first. We're at, these are Series 1 hits now. Pretty good fight, I'd say. All right, so Jeremy has a Nico Hersher Young Guns. What? Wow. That's crazy. We, that is two weeks in a row where we've pulled a Nico. I hate to tell Jeremy that last week the Nico Hersher was actually beat out improbably by a Young Guns Canvas card. But we'll see if Flyer Honey's got some magic up his sleeve here. Good luck, Andrew. Trying to beat the Nico Hersher. If not, Jeremy's taking home the Nico. A rough pack. This one's hard to open. Why is there some type of some that is hard to open? Oops. All right, he's got a canvas, but it's not a Young Guns. It is a Vincent Trocek canvas card. So congratulations to Jeremy. You've got yourself the canvas, you've got the Nico Hersher, but most importantly, you're off to the next round. I guess not most importantly. Most importantly is probably going to be the Nico. Yeah. Next up, we got all four kinds and Justin A. Okay, next one. All four kinds. Chuck, you've got a shooting stars or a shining stars of Pekka Rene. Justin A. Any young guns? We'll move them on to the next round. He's got a upper deck portraits of Mitch Marner. So we're going to have to go to the lowest base card. This is Justin A. He's got a 56. He's got a 7. That's going to be tough to beat. A 7? All four kinds. He's got a 4. He does it. Congratulations, Chuck. That is actually pretty hard to beat. All right. A so, 7. Well, the Series 1 cards are a lot lower than the Series 2 cards. That's why. Oh. Next up, we've got Bruins 37 against Bummer Boy. Good luck, Robin. Good luck, Jack. Good luck, guys. Hey, Chuck, welcome here, bud. You just moved on to the next round, one of your spots. So this is for Bruins. Bruins has himself a Young Guns rookie of Andreas Borgman for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So unless Bummer Boy gets a Young Guns, Robin is going to move on to the next round. Bummer Boys pack. You've got a Centennial Standout of Frank Mahovlich. So the Young Guns is king. That means Andreas Borgman and Robin moves on to round number two. Oh, what if they got the exact same number? Next up, we got Wings 84 against Soccer Taz. First of all, Wings 84. Good luck, Dave. Dave has himself an Alex Ovechkin Shining Stars card. Soccer Taz, Jeremy, who we pulled a Nico Hersher for earlier. Let's see if he's going to share the love here. Upper Deck Canvas Young Guns for Soccer Taz of Jake DeBrusque. Beautiful hit there. Jeremy's having all the luck from Chicago today. Nice job. Jeremy moves on to the next round into the bracket of three. And next up we got Subterfuge against Bummer Boy. Good to see you in the break, Mike. All right, uh, all four kinds joined late. He was wondering who made it in the play-ins. So this is the wild card bracket. It was all four kinds against DJ Base. DJ Base moved on. Then it was Bummer Boy against all four kinds. All four kinds moved on. DJ Base against all four kinds, and all four kinds moved on. So you're in. All right, subterfuge. Here's your pack, Mike. Let's see if we can have some more young guns magic. 
First of all, we've got a Young Guns of Marcus Sorensen. That's pretty magic. Subterfuge, looking to move on with that Young Guns. Here's Bummer Boy, looking to answer back. Bummer Boy has a Upper Deck Portrait of Alex Ovechkin. That means that Mike is on to the next round with that Young Guns hit. Alex Ovechkin, there's... Actually, I think this is a bit more... More of... Golden Knights Alright, so Jack, your hope lies on the other bracket. On the other side over there. First of all, we got two hits coming up here for all four kinds. Unless they are base packs. We'll move his name on already. So he's against Sub... Oh, look at that! All four kinds! Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Camera was up. Chuck, you got the jersey card. So that is the... Um, that is the bounty where you get a satellite spot next week as well as a satellite in the Tournament of Champions. Congratulations, Chuck. Add that to your stack of hits and... Next up, we've got a Henrik Sedin Centennial Standouts, also for Chuck. And Chuck moving on to the next round. That was it for that pack. All right, this is actually really handy with Hudson here cleaning up all the uh, all the extras. I put the cards under your bed because I don't want you to sit on them. Excellent. And I'll put all the packs in there too. Okay, so Chuck gets the bounty for the first jersey card. Now we're on to the uh, semi, or I guess quarterfinals. Oh. I should mention the quarterfinals is a triple threat match. It is three people against each other. So on this side we've got subterfuge against all four kinds against Soccer Taz. Yeah. Up here we've got Soccer Taz against all four kinds and Bruins. We got all four kinds Aries against Saxy over here. And four Jensen against all four kinds against Bummer Boy on the top. So we're going to start on the top of the bracket. And then two guys against two. Yep. Two against two. Then against. All right, so here's our first matchup, triple threat. Same rules apply for who gets to move on. First of all, we got a pack here for four Jensen. Four Jensen, you've got a canvas of Victor Hedman. So you got to hope that one of these guys doesn't have a Young Guns. Yes. Bummer Boy. Jack has a Nolan Patrick Upper Deck Portraits. That's Jack's second Patrick card that he's pulled in the uh, tournament. All four kinds looking for a Young Guns to automatically move on to the next round. Let's see if he can answer the bell. He does have a Young Guns and a Fluorescence. That's double the prize. Andrew Mangia Payne. What a pack. That's double the prize. Vince Dunn, Fluorescence, and a Andrew, Andrew Mangia Payne Young Guns. That means that Chuck is moving on to the semis. That Here is just crazy. Like, who could get that? Good luck, Chuck. Basically, no one. Okay, so the Nolan Patrick moves along with Chuck. The Victor Hedman moves along, but Bummer Boy keeps all, he gets the Nolan Patrick fluorescence, and Ford Jensen keeps his hits from the first round as well. So those ones will be shipped out to you guys. Chuck, on to the semis. He has a lot of hits so far. Yep. Next up, we've got all four kinds versus Aries and versus Saxy. So first of all, we've got Chuck. Okay, let's do this thing. All Four Kinds has a Young Guns canvas of Lucas Walmark. That means if that cannot be beaten, Chuck has himself in the semi-final. He may have just punched his ticket to the final right there. And he might... We've got a marquee rookie of Alex Formanton for Aries 1295. But if he if he wins this pack, this one, he'll just automatically go to here. To the final, yep. Yeah. Next yeah. up we have Saxy. Looking to somehow beat that Young Guns canvas. He's got a marquee rookie of Samuel Gerard, And that is it. So, Chuck! We ran into a problem here. What's the problem? 
He'll be versing himself <laughs> and then versing himself, then he'll get the championship. <laughs> well, we'll see who wins on the other side. So, Aries, you still get the hits from the last round. Saxy, you still get your two young guns from the other round. Not Chuck against Chuck in the semifinals. Moving over to this bracket. Chuck against Chuck. First of all, we've got Ooh, Soccer right. Taz against all four kinds against Bruins. What if all four kinds wins all the rest? That'd just be a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> then he just beat right. himself. Here we go. Soccer Taz, you're first. Here's your pack. Ooh, a hot, tough one. Tough one to open. Yep. Thank you, Hudson. Alright, this is for Soccer Taz. He already has the Nico Hersher. He's got a Cali Rose in Young Guns. And a good chance of moving on to the semifinals. Next up, we have all four kinds. If he can beat that, he's into the semifinals. All four kinds has a canvas of Anthony Mantha, but it is not a Young Guns. Not I think that was it in that cool. pack. Bruins, 837, looking to match Soccer Taz's Young Guns. Robin has Opera Deck Portraits of Jack Eichel. That means that Jeremy Soccer Taz moves his Nico Hersher pile into the semifinal. He also gets the Eichel and the Canvas. Good job. Congratulations, Jeremy. Next up, we've got Jeremy once again. Against... Subterfuge and uh, all four kinds. All right, so here we go. Let's do this. First of all, Soccer Taz. Oh, that one's not working. Tuffy. Tuffy, tuffy. Soccer Taz, you've got yourself a Connor McDavid Shining Stars Ruby. Subterfuge, looking a Fight that with a Young Guns car. Any Young Guns will beat it. We've got an Upper Deck Canvas oh. of Patrick Laine. So close. In my mind, that one should beat it, but <laughs> I'm not allowed to be subjective. Next up, we've got all four kinds. If he can beat this, he's lucky. Hoping for a Young Guns. We don't want and he has a Jake Dutch in Young Guns. As well as an Eric Stahl clear cut superstar. Oh, yeah. So, Chuck, moving on to the next round. Congratulations, buddy. The clear cut actually looks a bit rare. Chuck is the king of uh, two hits in one pack for this round. So, Chuck, moving on to the next round. Chuck. All right, it is time for the semifinals. We've got all four kinds with a three out of four chance to make it to the final. Jeremy. Um. Looking to say something about that. We're going to start with the anticlimactic round on the other side. Two hits for Chuck. Unless we got a base pack, I guess. So starting down here, series two pack. This is Chuck number one. And then he'll just have to. Chuck's got an Owen Tippett. And that's it. Then Chuck, pack number two. So he'll just go up against himself? Well, we'll see if Soccer Taz can beat him. Chuck, you've got a Yarmir Yager OPG update card. So that'll move on to the finals with you. All four kinds. Okay, now it's Soccer Taz against all four kinds on the west side. Soccer Taz has like um, basically the best card. Well, he's got the Nico Hersher in there, so even if he doesn't advance, he still had himself a pretty good day. All right, these were. Oh. He'll have a lot of good cards, though. So. Oh, yeah, these were Chucks. Okay, first pack for Soccer Taz. Soccer Taz has himself a Connor McDavid Shining Stars. 
So he's got to hope that Chuck does not have young guns. The young guns in his pack. Chuck's got himself a centennial standout of Stan Mikita. That means it's going down to the wire, boys. Lowest base card wins. Got a 60 for Chuck, a 48. So Jeremy needs to beat a 48. Which might not be. If he doesn't beat a 48, Chuck is celebrating a, a personal hobby box. Good luck, Jeremy. Looking to beat a 48. He's got a 33. Jeremy gets the Connor McDavid. He gets the Centennial standouts. And he's against... But most oh, importantly, oh. he's made it to the finals. He's going to fight all oh, four. Cool. At this time, we're going to kindly remove the Lennox mat. And we are ready for the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now... Senores and senores do Brazil and UFC fans watching around the world live from the sold-out HSBC Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! It's time for the finals. All right, you guys, the winner gets their choice of a hobby box. Whoever does not win ends up in second place, and they are going to get a satellite chance into the Tournament of Champions. The winner of this tournament also gets an automatic free spot to the Tournament of Champions, where you can win yourself a personal hobby box of 1718 Upper Deck Black. Good luck, you guys. Here we go. 1617 Upper Deck Black. We're going to start with Soccer Taz. Good luck, Jeremy. Last week, Lennox Matt won it with a Young Guns Canvas card. And who can do it? Jeremy has a Patrick Maroon Upper Deck Portraits. Chuck has a chance to win it with a Young Guns. So much suspense. If it's no Young Guns, we're going to have to go down to the numbers. This is scary. And he's got a Grant Fuhr Centennial Standout, so we're going to the tiebreaker. The lowest number wins. 96, 74, 49 for Chuck. 49. Jeremy's looking to beat a 49. Let's see if he can do it. Beats a 49 for his own personal hobby box. He's got a 92. He's got a 21. He's got a 3. Soccer Taz is the new champion. Chuck makes it to the semifinals, makes it to the finals, gets himself a satellite into the Tournament of Champions. But congratulations to our new winner, Jeremy Soccer Taz. Which one will you pick? Jeremy is not in the chat tonight, so I will wait for his response, which box he would like. The Series 1, Series 2, Upper Deck, Game Used, or Big Box Level Value? What's it going to be? What would you pick, Hudson? Huh, I think I'd pick the Game Used. Game Used? All right, Jeremy. Jeremy, let me know what you would like, and I will open it for you on a separate video. Thanks to everyone for participating. Next week, I am in Vegas, so I'm not sure if we'll have a Pack Wars next week. Um, but uh, we may do one on Saturday and break it on Sunday. We'll see what happens. But either way, thanks for participating, you guys. Another great day. i got to get Hudson off to bed. Have a good night, you guys.